Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to work with layers in UMake. So you'll see here that I have the beginning of a vehicle design but actually what it is is this is just the outline of a car. There's a lot more to this car but they are hidden within my layers. So I'm going to come over to the side panel here and go to the layers panel. You'll see here that I have several layers. There's a little description here about what the layers can do. I'm going to hide this. You'll see I have multiple layers right here. They're all currently grayed out, which means that they are not visible. But if I come up to uh, each layer, if I tap on the little icon of an eye next to them, that will toggle the layer on or toggle it off if you tap it one more time. So I'm going to toggle on the vehicle surfaces. I'm going to toggle on the wheels, tapping on the eye icon, and I'll toggle on some accessories. You'll see that now I have something that looks like a complete model of a vehicle, and uh, that I was able to segregate or separate uh, each of the components into separate layers. The reason for this is that if I wanted to work on just a couple things uh, at one point time, at any one time, I can use layers to do that. I can focus on just working on a wheel or just working on an accessory and I don't have to worry about the other parts of the vehicle getting in the way or hiding things. So that's really why you want to use layers. You want to use it to help you in the creative process. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back and turn on the car surfaces, add a few more things going to change out the wheels. And that looks pretty cool. You can see I had a lot of various components in the layers. Now that that's done, I'm going to show you how you can start from scratch working with some layers. So I'm going to go out of this and then create a new file. And here we go. So you can see that the layers panel is open and when I start a new file I only have one layer and that is the default layer. I am going to go to the front view here and I'm just going to draw a circle. I'll add a surface to this circle and now I have a curve and a surface and they're currently on the default layer. Anything that I draw on this default layer will uh, stay on that layer until I move it. I'm going to draw another circle and I'll just move this back a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to add a surface to that as well and now I have two components. This layer or this circle however I would like to add to its own layer. So I'm going to double tap and select both of them, the surface and the curve. And you'll notice that when I have something selected, you'll see this little small square appear in the layer. That means uh, that's basically the indication that that component exists on that layer. Well, I want to make a new layer and add this circle and surface to that layer. So I'm going to come up to the top, tap the plus button, and now I have added a new layer. You'll see by default I get a name of layer 2. I'm going to tap on this layer to select it and it is currently visible. You can see by the eye icon and also because this is black, not gray. And now in order to assign the sele selected components to the layer, I'm going to come over and tap on this little arrow on this layer. When I tap on that, I'll have a couple different options. I can change the opacity of a component, but right now nothing is on that layer. So changing the opacity won't do anything, but I'm going to assign this surface and circle on the layer. So I'm going to tap assign. And now that has assigned those components to layer two. You can see that this little square here has changed to layer two, showing that the selected components are now on that layer. If I open up the options again, I can change opacity from the layers. And you can see that the opacity changes. I can uh, lock the layer which means that if I try and draw something on the layer, I can't do that. I can't move anything that's on the layer. I cannot modify anything on that layer. 
I can rename this layer. So I can put circle two, for example. Now I've renamed it. And ultimately, if I don't want that, I can come in and I can delete this layer. If I delete this layer, all of the components on the layer will be deleted with it. Tap the undo button to go back for a little bit. So basically that is uh, the basics of working with layers. It's pretty simple. You can add as many as you want. So I'll add another one here. And then you can use the various options to assign components to those layers to lock or unlock layers, to rename them, or to change the opacity from the layers. So if I come to uh, circle two, I'm gonna unlock it by swiping over on it. So that's one other thing. If you want to quickly lock or unlock a layer, you can swipe over to the right to lock it, swipe over one more time to unlock it. I'm going to double tap and select both of the components here. I can change their opacity. So now they are semi-transparent. And once I'm done, go back. And there we go. So that is the basics of working with layers. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter channels. We'd love to hear from you. And we can't wait to see what you create with layers in your models. Have a great day, guys. Take care.